Hi friends, my name is Kali and we, the students of class 11C, are presenting a short film. I recently read an article, The Ailing Planet, the Green Movement Zone by Nani Pakhiwala. Nani Pakhiwala raises the issue of declining health of the planet. He describes how we humans are deteriorating our planet. He highlights the importance of sustainable development and the significance of green movement. To get more knowledge about this topic, let's have a talk with our expert. As our friend Raghav, we clear our doubt with her. Let's see what happens. Hello friends, and now we'll be taking an interview of our expert, Mrs. Tasneen Ma. Ma, what do you think that Earth's vital signs reveal a patient in declining health? Yes, they do. Uh, it is because... Do you want me to elaborate on uh, yes, how, how the Earth is... What is, uh, the, what is the declining condition? Yes, ma'am. Um, first of all, environment. And we are the reason, humans are the uh, prime factor because of which the environment is declining. Most of us are not aware of how we are supposed to use the resources and we are actually not using but exploiting the resources. So that is what our expert is saying. Uh, uh, is in a very critical state right now. And it is a potential threat for our human existence. And you know who is responsible for it? It's we human. Yes, we are. In the name of advancement in science and technology and development, we are claiming resources, we are exploiting them. We are cutting trees, we are killing animals, we are emitting greenhouse gases which is leading to global rise in temperature etc etc. So is this what development means? I don't think so. Ani Pakhiwala in his article gives a description of a zoo in Nuzata Zambia. He says there is a zoo in Nuzata Zambia. It has a cage and the cage has no animal. But the mirror, I notice. And notice says the world's most dangerous animal. It's we human. Yes, we are. There's a very famous statement that forests have preceded mankind and deserts will follow it due to the things which are being done by humans. Do you think that uh, this is in accordance with our present situation? It is very much. Uh, like you said, uh, forests preceded the mankind. It was true. Before man was born, the earth was totally covered with forest. That is what you mean. Yes. And that has now been changing. Now it is from that green forest which was naturally created, it has changed to a concrete jungle. And therefore the uh, balancing factor that existed on the earth, which used to keep it um, environmentally good for everybody to survive, has now is now declining. We call ourselves the most intelligent animal on the planet Earth. But there were people who realized the importance of environmental preservation. Their efforts, green movement was started. It was started in 1972 in New Zealand. But as the movement proceeded, many international commissions were formed. Environmental issues were discussed globally. Laws were made, etc., etc. But the most striking feature of green movement was it gave birth the term sustainable development. Sustainable development simply means development without compromising the needs of the future. Uh, what are your views on sustainable development? Uh -huh. So when it is said sustainable development, children only know two things about it: that um, it should not be, it should not uh, development should not harm the environment, and it should be done um, in uh, keeping in mind the needs of the future generation. This has just become a definition in the book, but it is not applied in real life. What we expect from students is to take that small step which they can do at their own level that will help in getting that sustainable development which is not being done so they just learn the definition this is sustainable development the right of brains yes and uh, what are your views on the laws made by the government do you know of it yes there are a lot of laws that have been made by the government and uh, not only that that the government has made laws but the government has understood that without the help of the community the government will alone not be able to implement these laws so there are so many laws that the government has formulated in which the community itself is becoming a part of it Explain for example the uh, the joint forest management the joint forest management was an initiative started by the government but it is actually the taking help of the community to restore the forests in local the movement shifted from the mechanistic view to the holistic ecological view of the world Laws were made in India. Like the Article 48 of our Constitution provides that it's 
state shall endeavor to protect and improve our environment and to safeguard forest and wildlife. But do you think making law just that's it? We think that laws are inefficient. Guys, we conducted a survey in our school. Let's see what happened. Hey guys, I am Anshir Ramani and I would be conducting a survey with the students of Centre Point School by the Managa. So let's see what answers we get. Uh, we have Chirag Pugalia with us, our school captain. So Chirag, I will ask you a few questions which I would like you to answer. Okay, English. Okay, Chirag, so have you ever participated or taken any initiative to you know, save our environment? Yes, uh, we have been taking part from our school. Our school is uh, providing us many opportunities and that's why we pr feel proud to be a Centre Pointer. We go to ocean cleanup projects and uh, uh, also through uh, uh, art, uh, drawing, drawing competitions and other. The school has uh, like put in us uh, this cause for, uh, for to protect the environment. So we have taking uh, we have been taking part from the school. Outside the school, uh, we have been uh, carrying out the recent uh, structure part of the yard and uh, environment. I myself. Uh, People they uh, pee on the road. That's also an harm thing. So I myself stop them whenever I see them. That's what I do on my part. And I don't litter. I don't throw plastic everywhere. That's what I I want to do every day. I haven't joined any NGO, but uh, I like my school. Uh, through my school, I have, have done some. Uh, so like take an initiative. Like we undertook Swachhata Abhyan also in our school. Yes. Okay. That we, like we clean, we clean the area near the Jain Mandir. Okay. That I've taken part. Uh -huh. And a conservation project. Uh, yes, I've taken some initiatives for environment. Like, uh, like growing trees in uh, neighborhood. Okay. Teeny neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, we were not as sad, but uh, last year we took part in DFC. So it was kind of helping uh, stray animals. That uh, human population and the environment safe, environment health are adversely proportional. Like increase in human population is a major factor in. Of course, it is. It is. As individual, what steps you would take to you know preserve our environment? See, first of all, is preserving an, our environment. Uh, as an individual, what steps I take, I, I may tell them. I like I first of all I don't burn crackers. Okay. I'm very uh, conscious about pollution okay. because myself I'm suffering from asthma. Okay. And uh, every Diwali, everyone has a festival. Everyone celebrates, and I am on bed, okay. down with an asthma attack. So pollution is for me like a very big uh, issue. That's one thing which I'm really. Like pay, uh, searching for, I, I get really angry if I see someone doing that. That's one way when uh, I can like, I I'm completely against that pollution burning and all those things. I myself don't burn crackers. Then second is trees should be planted more. I I don't I I always try to protect the trees. I, I just don't want to like uh, people cut trees and all. Deforestation, housing, populations growing, all that is necessary, but to a certain limit. According to me as an individual, I, I can't do much, but a bit that I can do is uh, I could, for uh, like uh, people say that we should uh, encourage uh, covering small distances, using bicycles and not using fuel, petrol, and all the four wheelers to cover small distances. And also, I, I, I when, when I see litter around, I avoid throwing it on the ground. But uh, when people do it, I also uh, I also ask them not to do so because environmental issue is a global issue and everybody that does that does a bit adds to the environmental uh, saving the environment. We can save electricity and all that. Switch off fire. Preserve our environment. I should do many things and what we do about. Oh, we can talk to 
talk them about conservation of environment, plant more trees, and we can pool in pool in our cars with our friends while coming school or going to tuition. First, we should start from our home because charity begins from home. It's the fact. So when we will improve ourselves, then only we can improve the society. Uh, I would like to minimize the use of polythene bags uh, and generate awareness. Small talk of industry is affecting uh, forests. How do they, apart from pollution and all, which are the major ways in which they affect our environment? Um, industries, when we talk about industries, there are a lot of industries that are coming up which do not uh, actually abide by the rules and laws of location of industry and the environment in which an industry has to be set up. So taking that into account, if it is done, then it actually harms the environment. Otherwise, the government has laid down a lot of rules. In spite of being they registered with the government, they do not follow those uh, rules which are related to the environment. To, uh, uh -huh. It is just a paperwork that is done and shown that these are the rules that they are following, but they are actually not. Okay, so, uh, do you think the, um, the policies made by the government or the laws made by the government are helping us to preserve our environment? Are they, you know, actually there to you know, save our forests and my life? Take up a recent issue. Uh, the Supreme Court uh, had uh, said something on the coal blocks allotment. Yeah. Yeah. So, there were 200 something figure, I don't know the ex exact figure, but those who are coal blocks allotted uh, without, uh, like they were allotted by unfair, then they were unfair means. Yeah. So, if that is done, we are depleting our uh, resources, our environment at such a great speed that this is becoming alarming. And I think uh, government should be more uh, thinking like environmentalists. Development is necessary, but yes, without affecting the environment. Uh, the forest laws and yes, they do help in saving the environment as they reserve the forest areas for the, uh, and, and they also uh, get to uh, develop the species and make them more. So yes, they do partially help the the same thing. So my one final question. What do you think that we students, uh, current generation, what role can we play in uh, protecting our environment? How can we do that? Okay. Uh, if uh, if the student actually wants to be a part of, you no, know, genuinely feels that he should, uh, he or she should contribute in uh, saving the environment or protecting the environment, the step begins at home. So first thing is um, minimum use of uh, petrol runway vehicles as far as possible. Switching on the off the lights when not in use, closing the tap water. We say these th these are very little things to be done, but <coughs> sorry, they're not actually followed. We don't implement all these things. We know that these are written in book and they have to be done, but when actually it has to be done, it is not followed. So if this small step is taken by every student in the school, it will be a big step towards saving the environment. So, what are your views on sustainable development? Sustainable development in today's conditions is required because the resources we all know are depleting really fast yeah. and uh, a time is going to come like this is all general but still this has a lot of, lot of importance because time is going to come when all these resources will be like searched for they will be left in very less quantity and also to think of our future generations so we have to uh, think of them also like our uh, ancestors thought of us. So, that's our duty, I think, to use the resources sustainably. Sustainable development means we need to conserve our resources uh, that are getting depleted faster as we need to save it for our next generation. We also need to save it and as we do it, we should judicially uh, use it and we should try to control it as far as we can. So that was all from our survey. So let's get back to Prajur. So that was our survey. Now we would like to present some stuff.
they are challenges to like unequal distribution resources, population growth, lack of awareness, etc. etc. But we need to overcome all these challenges and we need to make our greener and a better place to live. As we don't want you to do something big, we want you to contribute in some other way. Like switching off fire may not be used, cooling your vehicle, which can save it, etc. And above all, creating awareness. So this was our contribution for creating awareness. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you.